was something deep down within me, moving me, that I could no longer be satisfied or go along with an evil system. Life was extremely dangerous when we were growing up. John Lewis had the respect of everybody because he was the one who demonstrated the most courage. He'd been beaten and knocked down and get up and go to find another battle. John was focused on ending voter suppression. And it wasn't that he was a great orator, it's that he was a great spirit. The power of spirituality and humility and the willingness to suffer rather than to inflict suffering. One of the things that John has taught us is that, yeah, you may have to sacrifice, but if you're sacrificing for a cause, something bigger than you, bigger than you, and you really believe in it, then you will have people following you. We do not get meaningful legislation out of this Congress. We will march through the South, through the streets of Jackson, through the streets of Danville, through the streets of Cambridge, through the streets of Birmingham. I think he is the singular figure that has tried to carry out the work of our nonviolent campaigns into the halls of Congress. From day one, John Lewis was a role model for the members of Congress, whether they were freshmen or here a long time, because he brought with him a kind of heft, a, a weightiness of, of purpose. I got arrested a few times during the 60s. <laughs> 40 times. And since I've been in Congress, another five times. The means by which we struggle must be consistent with the end we seek. Someone who has navigated thorny issues of policy, not by castigating alone, but by also encouraging people to be better than they think they can be. Today, we are considering a fair housing measure which not only protects our nation's minorities, but it protects the needs of those with disabilities and families with children. How long do we have to wait before we decide to ban assault weapons? We have another opportunity to bring more of our citizens into political participation. I have on my marching shoes. That's right. I'm fired up. I'm ready to march. And all of these decades later, while he and others of his generation achieved much, we're still fighting against police brutality and fighting for our voting rights. And so we best honor him by continuing to fight the good fights that he fought, by staying in good trouble.